Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Omega Studio News, news you can use. Okay, so welcome back, welcome, welcome all right here, right now to Omega Studio News and Social CTV. So before I start the program, I'm going to uh, run my disclaimers. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. And you can pause to read the disclaimer. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I uh, I do want to uh, let you guys know that the reason why I am wearing purple, wearing purple and purple at the bottom, is because this is my way of mourning and mourning and it it represents pain and suffer this pain and suffering that not only america is facing right now but the family of the late tyree nichols okay so uh this is the reason and i want to have this here and demonstrate for you guys because this is my way of demonstrating this okay so the colors are here purple okay so let's move on to today's topic uh i have a lot of things that i want to talk about but before i continue i do want to say that thank you everyone for tuning in to watching my video who definitely sent me feedback, emails, text messages, DMs. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. You are the guys, cyber friends, who make it possible for the Omega City News and Social T to go on. Okay. So. <sighs> I know that America has watched the videos of the beating that led to the death of the late Tyree Nichols. I know people have protested. I know people are mad. I know people are furious. I know people are upset. And I know people want to use their platform, just like me, to help fix a broken system. I said it then and I'll say it again. Tyree Nichols, along with all the innocent people who have been brought into social media, died because the system was broken or the system is broken and the system needs fixing. So in today's segment, I really hope that I can shed some light on trying to fix the system just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? I know that you see other videos where people are, you know, no justice, no peace, and they just saying the same thing that other people are saying, and I want to basically have content that will demonstrate and highlight some of the things that can fix the broken system, help fix the broken system. Okay, so I put together some things and I'm gonna share with you guys some things in a presentation. Okay, so, oh, and also uh, we're gonna bring the jury people in 
they will be sitting along in the background watching in just mind-boggling yet again that something like this happened because the system is broken so we're definitely definitely going to have them there okay so uh true facts uh i'm going to bring up the screen and while the screen is being brought up i'll uh, put them in the background okay Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in our jury people. Hello, jury people. Okay, jury people are in the building. Uh, definitely, definitely. Hold on, let me just turn that. Jury people is in the building. They have been gone, but they are here with us. Guys who follow me knows jury review. Usually go down on Thursdays haven't been uh processing that but we have them here uh you'll be seeing a lot of them because we'll be talking about some topics moving forward but right here this is something uh where we're going to uh continue to uh press on some of the issues and try to help fix a broken system okay so let's go into okay so okay let me just remove this all right so uh definitely you guys what we're looking at right here we're looking at data so far in january of 2023 that shows a listing of killing by law enforcement officers in the united states in 2023 so far and this data and statistics could be found on wikipedia as you guys can see it here but i just want to show you guys as i was saying in my video i said that the system is creating the broken system is creating statistics the statistics is going to go up 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 okay i said this then i'll say it again it's going to continue to happen if the system is not fixed now due to a broken system we have had so far at least 14 people killed 14 people killed in police custody including the name has been added tyree nichols okay now has been added that that big brother camera and the sky have shown the the after effects of what these officers did and that they will be brought to justice and they will have their day in court to uh demonstrate or explain but we want to see we want to we, we see right here that that video and and this photo right here and i said it on my show last night i said that they probably didn't even know that the cameras was even rolling and i said that you see how the cars are just huddled around like it's just you know nobody can't see well that's something that they thought that no one was watching but big brother in the sky was watching along with god the souls the ancestors they were watching and they seen it and it was recorded right here so they can't say that this happened that happened this happened i'm just saying you know, everybody is allegedly, everybody is innocent to proven guilty and they're in a court of law, you know, but this is significant evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that these people caused the death of the late Tyree Nichols. Okay, so, uh, you know, so we're going to try to see how we can fix a broken system, but I want to show you guys this so far right here. Uh, you know, from Florida to Indiana to Texas to Atlanta, Georgia to California to Oakland to Tennessee to Massachusetts to Carolina to Washington. Someone has died. Someone has died in the hands of police custody, in police custody, law enforcement. Okay, so you guys can go on Wikipedia. Check this out right here, right now. All right. Okay. So, uh, 
before uh, I move on to the next segment, I do want to say to jury people that yes, it has happened again. It's had it happened again. Yes, I do know that we was here when Dante Wright, we had you present when George Floyd, you know, when the cop was on trial for the killing of George Floyd, we had thought that, you know, when people had demonstrated and they went out there and protest, you know, that that was going to open doors, you know, to at least try to prevent another family from becoming a victim by people dying in police custody or even being brutal, viciously, violently beaten in police custody, secretly. You know, I'm not just talking about people who have been, uh, uh, you know, beat violently with the recordings, you know, because there's probably hundreds, perhaps thousands of videos where people can show that people have been beat by law enforcement. It just hasn't been brought to the light. But I'm talking about those who haven't been recorded. I'm talking about those who Big Brother in the Sky or the body camera was turned off. I'm talking about those people too. Being assaulted and, and viciously beaten by law enforcement. Because they believe that they have the immunity to do whatever they want. But that has to change. That has to change. And when you guys were here and we have brought the fact that, yes, when, you know, the officer had the, uh, the knee on the neck of George Floyd, we had thought that people who have marched, died, went to jail, arrested, beat up, okay, gone on up there to Capitol Hill and sign things into law, and they adopt certain things, and this is what I found on social media that they had adopted, okay? And and I said this, I said this to you guys uh, that I was going to bring this uh, forward, so we're just going to look at it, and we're going to sit here, and we're going to uh, try to see how we could fix a broken system, okay? Okay, so according to Wikipedia, you will find what is called the George Floyd Justice and Policy Act. Okay, so what is this? This is a policy that was adopted and created, foundated when George Floyd was killed. Because if George Floyd was not killed, this policy would not be, would not have been adopted. Now, the next question is, where is this policy? Well, according to social media, okay, this policy is sitting around somewhere in Congress, well, let's say in Washington, okay, sitting somewhere in Washington, ready to move. It is ready to move. The George Floyd Justice and Policy Act is ready to be to move. So what is the justice? What is the George just what is the George Floyd Justice and Policy Act? So right here, according to Wikipedia, it says the, the George Floyd Justice and Policy Act of 2021. We in 2023, yet again, something like this happened. Was a policy reform bill drafted by Democrat in the United States Congress. The legislation was introduced to the United States of House of Representatives on February 24, 2021. The legislation aims to combat police misconduct, SS force, and racial bias in policing. Now, a couple of DMs, a couple of questions, a couple of uh, things that, you know, people uh, want to know, I want to know, the jury people want to know, you guys want to know. So 
the system. This is the opinions of the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T. Kareem J. Clement, me, myself, and I, my opinions. Okay. When I brought up the fact that when we see these officers being African American and we see the victim being African American, and does it still throw out the, the play of racial or or racial bias or or not racial or uh, racial profiling or uh, races against someone? It possibly can. You never know because a black person or African American person can be racist towards another African American person. Yes, they can. Okay. And what these people did, and we have seen it, you know, they have disregarded everything. And the man's rights was violated. Okay. But we're not going to go into that, Green. We're going to go into the fact that these officers. They were African American and the victim was African American. So the fact that if they was a race, probably who knows. But in this case, we hope it wasn't. But can it, it is it possible? Yes. Now I believe that it's the uniform. You understand? The the power that they feel that they have because they have a gun and they have a badge. And they feel that they have so much immunity because they feel that they go out in the community and that they think that they can terrorize it and have people be scared of them. You know, and I feel that the excess force was certainly at hand because we seen it from the Big Brother video that they kicked this man, they punched him, they did all things possible to this man instead of helping him, instead of using their duties that they learned in the academy or in law enforcement school to help render aid or even take this man into custody, right? Just like that. You understand? And process, you know, everything was violated right there. You understand? But I'm sure at the time in court that they would handle that. But this George Floyd Justice and Policy Act, where it comes as the excess force way over yonder way over yonder what they did okay go into the misconduct the police misconduct of most a hundred a thousand percent misconduct on everybody i said in my video i said it goes all the way to the 911 operator the dispatcher who was transmission those calls they need to be under investigation and fired as well Everybody who was at that scene, okay? Y'all did it to the EMS, y'all did it to the fire, whoever, detectives, different counties, different units, everybody that was present there need to be held responsible in the death of the late Tyree Nichols, okay? So, yes, yeah, so we do know that if the legislation and the George Floyd Justice Policy Act that we are looking at right now is passed with police misconduct and SS force and uh, racist bias, will pass legislation, then perhaps, I'm just saying, maybe this could have been prevented. I'm just saying if this would have been passed or something would have been adopted and created to move forward to help it, uh, 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 make the law enforcement system better between, or should I say, transparency between the community and you know that they serve and that their whole saying protecting the community then we need the transparency between everybody okay and i'm going to share with you guys something i believe that probably could help just a little bit on fixing the system okay so, oh, the jury people saying, what is it? The jury people saying, what is it? Just a little bit. Y'all want to just hear. Okay. So I was just saying that. Um, so just bring it up. So what I was saying, I was saying that if anything, 
Congress should use the money if they're going to defund the police department or set aside, set aside money to help the communities and how we could pinpoint between the transparency and the broken system between the police department and the community. So I was saying that maybe focus groups, maybe focus groups could be something that could display or try to help or try to, you know, see where, you know, everybody's at. So let's go into it. So uh, focus groups. So a focus group is a research message method that brings together a small group of people to answer questions in moderate settings. The group is chosen due to predefined uh, pre demographic traits and questions are designed to shed light on topic of interest. Topic of interest within a community that things are happening or where the system is broken. If you just fix certain things, then maybe the the line of the demograph demographics or the line of interest or the line of things that are that people are suffering or going through in their community, maybe if people put a hold to that, because those again are taxpayers' dollars. So it's being spent well course. And I'm not saying that there are not police officers that are not out there doing a great job. I know a buddy of mine who just joined the police department. And, you know, I pray that he is safe out there in the community, even after the fact that the way the man that George Floyd died, or even after the fact that how Dante Wright died, or even the fact of how Breonna Taylor died, and other countless people. Other people, Everett Gardner, Laquan McDonald, Freddie Gray, all these people, they died in police custody. You said who? Sandra Bland. Those are just some of the names that we are still trying to fix in this broken system. Because the system was broken due to the fact that those people, the names that I have just named, they died because the system is broken. We'll be back. Okay, so let's look at what is called provisions. So provisions is the legislation describes an exp expansion would, and this would definitely shows, and I guess what they're asking for. So let's look at some of the things that they are asking for. When, I'm, when I say they, maybe the focus groups or people who've come together, like police departments across the country, and sergeants, lieutenants, and community uh, affairs, maybe they come up together and, and bring these provisions out. So let's look at some of these things and see how and if anything could either be legislated, are they some things that are legislated, and how it can help fix a broken system. So here we see something that I definitely, definitely 
uh, I would say that would be definitely agreeable. It says grant power to the Justice Department and Civil Rights Division to issue subpoenas to police department. Police department as part of the pattern to practice investigation into whether there has been a pattern and practice of bias and misconduct by the department. Also, too, if you look at this one, it says require federal uniform police officers that have body worn cams, which we do see the body worn cams uh, in the police department. Uh, and thank God. But I really, honestly, honestly, like seriously, you know, you have officers who take turn off their body cam vi video. And honestly, you know, speaking of body worn video, I really believe that those officers really thought that, you know, when they were, when you hear the audio and what happened and they were saying that, you know, he might be on something, uh, I really hope that these officers were drug tests, you know, when they were brought into custody, you know, to see if these people had something or if they were on something, if they were, or something was in their system. But I pretty much know and would hope and pray to God and without a shadow of doubt that this man was not on anything because clearly in the videos that you see in in the beginning this man was alert okay he yes okay you could see his face it didn't look like he was on drugs it didn't look like he was doing anything so i just want to put that out on bracket because we clearly see it you know he asked for his mom you know clearly speech is and then this this I, you know what god damn it This man was a trooper. This man was a trooper before he died. He was a trooper. He was a tough trooper. He even though they, they beat him, he was a trooper. Okay? He was there. And they had him against that car. Even though they didn't bring the aid to him, he was a trooper. He 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 needs to be given the highest award. The highest award by the president of the United States of America. That man, even though he was beaten, you know, we think about Rodney King and we we, 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 we reference that and people have referenced that saying that this is way beyond. But, you know, Rodney King, he survived after it. This man held out, Tyree Nichols held out for three days. Now, we didn't see exactly the essence force of what happened there. Maybe we have seen it, but, you know, because that video is years ago with uh, Rodney King, but this video clearly shows, it's the new era video. This is the new era video that will be shown years to come, years to come. And it will show that this man, the late Tyree Nichols, who sat there, laid there, even when nobody rendered aid to him, he still was battling, fighting to survive. He was in and out of consciousness. I'm pretty sure he was because he fell down and got back up. But this man, even after being beat on camera, and America seen it, they watched it. So body cameras, the big brother cameras is something that we thank God that is here is out there it needs to be more cameras more cameras more cameras if they had a satellite that could show a camera out and from the satellite into the the from the universe out into the, the lands then do it damn it because it shows everything and i really believe that if it wasn't the, the big brother there then we will not have seen the aftermath Perhaps charges probably wouldn't have been brought forth against the officers. Or we wouldn't have probably seen a clearer picture of what happened because they caught everything. The only thing that it didn't catch was them breathing. So body worn cameras is something that is definitely, definitely federal, state, city. It needs to happen. Because, uh, you know, and, you know, it's, it's kind of strange because, you know, a lot of people say the foreign police, but I'm saying, no, we should be adding more police. We should be deforming the military, some of money in the military and take out of the military and put into the police department because we need to 
protect our citizens. We need to protect us. And we need to protect those who are going to protect us. And that is the law enforcement. So if it's, it, and, and, you know, I did say this on my show. I said, well, maybe the government needs to take over the police department. Well, damn it, no, because how can they take over the police department if they can't even pass this act right here? And legislation that's going to help the citizens. So that's just one thing that's going to be added to them. And they're like, okay, well, oh, we control them and they can't control us. Yeah, I get it. You know, let me just take this time out because, you know, I I, I, I just need to get this on my chest. I stand with all the families. And when I say I stand, I use my platform to try to bring awareness to try to fix the problem. You know, I don't have the solutions to everything. Okay. But I can just add a little bit. And when I watch the video of his mom crying and talking about this, I'm pretty sure, without a doubt in my mind, along with her son, without a doubt in my mind, that they know or knew or seen or experienced what we just went through with George Floyd. And, 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 and but, but that to happen to, I'm just saying, me, this is just my opinion, for that to happen to Tyree during this, that stop, you know, God only knows what was going through that man's head when he see these men doing this to him and how he felt. And then knowing, come on, guys, we just went through this. Is it like, did we not learn anything from George Floyd's death? Did we not just learn anything from Dante Wright? Did we not just learn anything from them? I'm pretty sure that the police departments all across the country was trained at some point under certain certain standards and you know access force and stuff. I'm pretty sure they did. But for these officers to demonstrate what they did is unacceptable. Unacceptable. And if officers are demonstrating this right now on citizens in this great country, because it's happening, it's happening. And they feel that you won't be brought to justice, trust me, you will. You will. You will definitely will. It's just not the time, it's not now, but you will. We see it. So to fix the broken system, we have to pass these legislations that's gonna help the citizens of this great country. So yes, so I use my platform to grieve with the families and the late family of the victim and I can't cry no more. I can't get myself physically upset because something has happened yet again. I can only do what I can do by demonstrating just a little bit of fixing the broken system. You know, so this is what I'm doing. And people can say, well, the system will never be fixed. You're right. It will never be fixed. It wasn't fixed then. It's not going to fix. It's not going to be fixed now. It's not going to be fixed overnight. It's not going to be fixed tomorrow. It's not going to be fixed in one week. It's not going to be fixed in one year. But damn it, we're trying to fix just a little bit. Just add a little bit to make it better so we don't have to see this in February or in March or April and May, June, July, August, September, or October of 2023. Because if we don't fix the system, we're gonna see it. And people are gonna become statistics and the numbers are just gonna continue to increase and go up and up. And people are gonna be mourning and crying and burying their loved ones and 
getting paid payments and settlements, which is not going to bring back these people. It's not going to bring back the people because the damage is already done. Once it has happened, it's already done. We have to fix it. So like I said, the focus groups will totally be something that can be used in the communities that can help out and try to diagnose some of these problems that are demonstrating. And it starts in the homes. If we got to dig a little further, we got to go into the homes because everybody at some point is blaming certain things on mental health. Maybe these officers have mental health problems that were so severe, or maybe they suffer from PTSD, or maybe they were traumatized. We don't know. We don't know. But I'm just saying, there's no excuse. So if you want to look at those things, then and, 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 and the fact that these are officers that probably come from the community themselves. And since they're tough guys, they just feel that they can terrorize it. And I say that seriously, because there are officers out there that use their command and they terrorize the community. And who believes that it's safe? No one. Why? Because no one's talking. Because they're scared. They're scared and they're in fear for their families. They're in fear for their life. They're in fear for their kids. They're in fear for where they live at. They're in fear of everything. So what happens? You have legislation that can bring it into the community. And who has to know? Everything's private. We go by numbers and data. You got to do something. If it sounds crazy, it may sound crazy, but there, damn it, it probably is one of the probably going to be a great solution. You have to, you already tried it, but damn it, try it again. One of the other uh, uh, lines up here is prohibit federal police officers from using choke holes and carotid holes, which leads to the death of Eric Gardner and require state and law enforcement agencies that receive federal funding adopt the same prohibited. Now, listen, guys, no matter how you do it, when you see that this is things that they're asking for, now we're going to have to add the, uh, the Tyree Nichols Act. Because that act right there is so probably going to be so intense because this, if that, if if if, if that's not going to demonstrate, and that video is not evidence that just shows the true colors of what law enforcement is is about, or are are about, or gonna be about, was already about. I'm just saying, we see it. Evidence. This definitely should demonstrate the fact that law enforcement policies need to be changed ASAP. People are so busy in Congress arguing about so many other unnecessary things when we are forgetting about the things that matters to the citizens of this great country. When our people are going to continue to be a statistic Nobody don't want to be a statistic. If you want to be a statistic, damn it, make it a good statistic. When are we going to put an end to citizens dying in police custody? Why? Why? You know the saying when they, you know, they read you your rights and then they say your innocence is proven guilty in a court of law. You know, so how is it that the fact that people who arrest these people, they feel that they're guilty just like that? They feel that they're guilty just like that. And that just shows right there that you shouldn't be a police officer. Or you should not be in law enforcement. So they're going to have to add another act to the policies to change because 
it happened yet again. You know? So, this right here, it tells you the voting summary of this. And it tells you right here that TBD is to be, I think, to be date, to the date, or to be determined or something. But apparently, you know, it says it died in committee, uh, the George Floyd Justice and Policy Act. Uh, a bill number, then it gives you the date, and then you give it a sponsor, and then the uh, correspond and the latest status. It passed in the House 2236 to 181. And then the Justice and Policy Act, uh, June 8th, and then Cory Booker, uh, it died in the committee, which I'm not really understanding why. Then the George Floyd Justice and Policy Act of 2021 comes into play which february 24th 2021 and then oh yeah she's actually the mayor of um los angeles right yeah she just became uh the mayor of los angeles so yeah so it was passed in the house so now it's like where are we at now on this you know people protest you know and i actually want to say to the jury people that you know, the, 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 the people protest, they protest, and I can tell you that it was definitely, definitely peaceful from what I've seen, but I'm very confused, okay? I'm very confused because if you want to fix the system, a little bit of that in the system, I really believe the solution to fixing the system is that everybody fight harder for a change. In your community, a person could go and, you know, write down solutions, and those solutions could be very much useful to the community, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, what it is because I'm not in that community. There's hundreds of communities. There's hundreds and thousands of counties, you know, that people are facing brutality, facing issues, you know, want justice. It's not just civil suits and people filing claims and stuff. We want to fix it. We want to fix it. We want to basically go in and let our voice be heard because a closed mouth won't get fed. It will not get fed. So I really hope that people could take the time to use their platform to talk about the changes that can help the broken system because that's exactly what I'm trying to do right here, right now. I want to thank the jury people for coming here and being here with us. You know, we are uh, thankful seeing them. Okay, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode right here right now you know again i definitely definitely want to say you know we have to do a better job we have to do a better job on protecting us our families our friends because if we don't do it i'm telling you it's going to happen again if we don't change the system is going to happen again. I'm Kareem Clemens, and I'll see you guys very soon. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one. Bye.